Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome to my channel, Authentic Beauty Handmade Dolls and Tarot. In today's video, my Jungle Beauty Goddess tarot cards that I made based off of the personalities of my dolls are going to answer the question, why did I select my current race? Now, I don't even know if a tarot card can answer a question such as why a person would select their current race, but why make tarot cards if you're just going to ask mundane questions? So I want to ask questions that I find entertaining and challenging for me. So I, I'm really excited to see what the cards are going so to So for say. those of you who are new to my channel, I created my tarot cards based off of the personalities of my Jungle Beauty Goddess dolls that I created myself. I have some of the Jungle Beauty Goddesses behind me. I wish I could just show them all, get everybody in focus. So we have over here Kalahari and um, the, with the ball head with the diamonds, that is Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara and then with the head wrap, that's Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. I move over this is jungle beauty goddess namib and jungle beauty goddess cyanide who's just giving it to the camera child but anyway and i have two other goddesses afar and chobi who are not i'm not able to get everybody in the in the uh photo shoot as you can see i can barely get these dolls in but I, since the readings are about them i want to show For those them. of you who are interested in making dolls i have several doll tutorials on my channel for anything from a rag doll, a sock doll, a ball, um, a ball jointed doll, there are just so many doll tutorials. So you can make pretty much any type of doll that you're interested in. And I also have a variety of other crafts. If you're interested in the Jungle Beauty Goddesses story, I have some YouTube videos just showing like the beginnings right like, before they were born. I think I have like the first seven or eight episodes leading up to their birth but you didn't come to for that child you came to listen to why you chose the particular race that you are in at this moment so without further ado the jungle beauty goddesses are going to answer the question why you chose this your particular race that you're in right now for this lifetime i don't even know if it's possible we're going to see thank you so much for watching I would like for you to take a deep breath to the count of three, hold it to the count of three, and blow it out to the count of three. Let your mind settle into your spirit. Let your spirit settle into your heart. And let your heart settle into your body. We are now resonating at the frequency of ancient wisdom the question that we are posing today is why did I choose my current race what are the lessons I need to learn what are the lessons I came to teach why did I choose my current current race does race even matter at all what do I need to understand about the variety of earth suits of different colors and shades on this planet I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help someone find their way.
If you selected the orange gold butterfly, then this reading is for you. Hello darling, if you chose the orange butterfly which may look gold depending on your computer screen, then this reading is for you. First I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about this particular hand. So we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari says it is impossible for someone to love you more than you love yourself. Next, we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby says, Mind your own affairs. Next, we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. Katara. And she represents the root chakra. She says you are born to succeed. And then lastly for this particular hand, we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar, who represents our third eye and our ability to connect to our wisdom and understanding. And she says, use your skills and resources to invent what is missing. So let me just tell you what I feel that this hand is saying. The reason you chose your current race is because you came to planet Earth to show out, child. You came to show out. Now, this has nothing to do with whether you are Asian or um, African American or white or, you know, Middle East. It doesn't matter. You wanted to prove to the world that you could overcome obstacles and despite your earth suit. So let me give you an example. The minute I pulled these cards for this particular butterfly, the person who popped in my head was James Brown. So James Brown is in a society where a person who looks like him would be considered unattractive, right? So you have Jungle Beauty Goddess um, Kalahari who says, let me just pull her up again. She says, it is impossible for someone to love you more than you love yourself. So you're a person who, you know, like even like Michael Jackson. Well, Michael Jackson had a lot of face surgery, but James Brown did not do that. But he, he you know, there are people who, who want the challenge of what it would be like to love yourself in a world where the world does not approve of your physical appearance. They don't like the way that you look. They don't feel that you should have that position or that opportunity or that you should be and have that type of prosperity based on your physical appearance. And we all can think of various people, like even like um, Eminem popped in my mind because here he is, he's a white person, he's a rapper in a field dominated by African Americans. So he would be, you know, how am I going to make it in this genre where my earth suit does not fit the pattern that society has accepted for this, for this particular type of success. So one, you wanted the challenge of what it would be like to love yourself. It is impossible for someone to love you more than you love yourself. And I think that if you look at any person who has succeeded in any, in any genre, any field, any, in any type of, you know, job or aspect of their life, you have to go through this whole process of loving yourself. So, it, you know, so you, but you chose an earth suit that purposely was, that was purposely looked down upon by a particular society during a particular time period so that you could learn the lesson of self-love, self-respect, and self-acceptance. You felt like, look, I'm going to just fall in love with myself and I'm going to make these people love me, child. 
And then we have Jungle Beauty Goddess of Far, who represents our third eye, our ability to think outside the box. And she says, use your skills and resources to invent what is missing. This ties right back into my Eminem and to James Brown. James Brown, um, I think he created like his own special beat. And, you know, like his dance moves, his own dance style. Eminem, who has his own style, even though he's in this, you know, this, um, what do you call it? Like hip hop or rap type environment but he still has his own style like you know that's Eminem so he created what was missing oh, isn't it so fun like I'm, oh, this is okay and then you have Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby and Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby says mind your own affairs so basically in order for you to be successful in your earth suit you had to mind your own business you had to you had to get to a point or learn this lesson that you need to like stop looking at what other people are doing like you have to stop saying well such and such is you know purple and they have blah 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 you know sometimes we look at other races and we feel jealous of their skills or we feel jealous of their eyes i know that for a lot of um asian cultures not all they really cherish like white skin and a lot of the women who are gorgeous they're having like surgery to change the shape of their eyes so that their eyes are more European and this reading is saying that when you chose this particular race to kind of to show out to learn the lesson of self acceptance and self love that you need to stop comparing yourself to other people to other races and until you were able to just accept who you are and invent your own way like J jungle beauty goddess of fire is saying use your skills and resources to invent what is missing mind your own business like you know we can't go through the whole like unlike even though michael jackson was very successful but james brown was successful as well but this but this particular hand is saying that when you mind your own affairs when you discipline yourself when you love yourself which probably represents our third chakra which is connected to um this is our solar plexus and it has to do with self-acceptance self-love self-discipline self-mastery so basically in order for you to be successful in this particular earth suit in this particular race the first thing you had to do which was you know nobody was going to accept you until it is impossible for someone to love you more than you love yourself so your challenge was how do I love my big nose how do I love my black skin my purple skin my white skin my green skin how do I love this body that I'm in my particular earth suit to get into become successful in a particular area where people do not look like me that was oh that's your challenge you wanted to come to earth to prove that your soul power your spirit power was so powerful that you could put on an earth suit that did not represent most of the people who were successful in that particular area so but the secret to breaking into an area where most people did not look like you who do not look like you and still become successful the secret was that you had to stop comparing yourself to other people and learn how to love and accept yourself for who you are and then we also have jungle beauty goddess katara and jungle beauty goddess katara says you are born to succeed oh my god this is so amazing i love this hand so in a nutshell i just want to say that you selected your body because you wanted to show that your earth suit despite your earth suit despite your race that you could fit into a particular field a particular genre type of job even though you did not look like most of the people who had already succeeded in that particular area and that the secret to success in an area in an area of life where most people do not look like you was to learn how to love and accept yourself and stop comparing yourself to others so i just thought this was a really interesting reading i enjoyed it so much so 
um if you if this reading does not resonate with you make you feel some kind of way that perhaps this reading was not for you but maybe you know someone who will benefit from it so please do not forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video if you selected the lavender butterfly then this reading is for you Hello darling, if you selected the lavender butterfly, then this reading is for you. First I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective reading or intuition about the spread. First we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Traube and Jungle Beauty Goddess Traube says, if you don't change, you will become obsolete. Next, we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari, and her card says, Compassion and forgiveness are the cornerstones to true love. Next, we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar, and she says, Bring your dreams to life. And lastly, for this particular hand, we have Katara. Who represents the body and she says your wealth is weaved into the fabric of your earth suit your wealth is weaved into the fabric of your earth suit now my collective intuition about this hand <clears throat> is that you wanted to incarnate in a earth suit where your dreams could come true easily so for example um, you wanted, I'm sorry, you wanted to, to, to select the race. So let's just say, for example, that you wanted to, I'm just, I'm just going to stereotype here. You want to be a big business tycoon. So you're going to pick a race where it would be easy to be, become a big business you know business tycoon or if you want to play basketball or if you wanted to be a you know a particular rock star or a country singer you said look child look I don't want to go through some trying to prove something to the world I want to get into a body and it says your wealth is weaved let me just go back over this card you have jungle beauty goddess Katara and it says your wealth is weaved into the fabric of your earth suit so you wanted to come into an earth suit that already had all of the the bells the whistles the money the you know you just like look i'm not going to be working hard trying to prove to people you know who i am i want people to know who i am i want that pattern that design for wealth and success to already be a part of my earth suit so that was your plan so whatever race you are in every ethnic group and every ethnic group is different from race but every race has assets they have areas where they're very successful so no matter so and you wanted to come in you want to step into that role and you want it to already be set for you and basically because you knew that once you had the right earth suit it will be very easy to bring your dreams to life which was your goal so this is so you said look I want my earth suit to do work for me when people see me bam everything is going to work for me I want I want to I want to be in the earth suit of the perfect for that particular race that's going to make me money and make me successful but let me tell you the other part of it with the other part of your cards it says that you have jungle beauty goddess Chalby and it says if you don't change you will become obsolete you also have Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and it says compassion and forgiveness are the cornerstones to
to true love. Let me get it in focus here. So this is what I think. You are a person, and I don't care which ethnic, which race you are, who you have had a pretty, you know, you've had the advantages and the assets of your particular race, of your earth suit, and you wanted things to be this way, but the problem with that is that you, you know, you don't really have a lot of, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say compassion, tolerance for other people. Like you want to see, I'm, I'm not going to say, listen, I can see the thumbs down. I can just see them. But there are people who just really look at other people and say, I don't see why those people are complaining. You know, I did it. <laughs> My life has been wonderful. <laughs> why, is, why can't this person, why can't everybody just be successful? Why can't they just do what they're supposed to do? They could do it too if they just tried a little bit harder, you know? Like, you... You are a person who can't understand why other people are whining and complaining about race, even though you selected an earth suit that already had all of your wealth tapped into what you wanted to accomplish. I know this sounds a little weird, right? So basically, but this is the thing though, because you have had the life that you want, you are a little bit intolerant of other people and um you want to hold on to the the wealth that you have acquired based on the patterns that were already set for that particular earth suit when you came to this planet and you want to hold on to those things and but basically what's happening is that because you want to hold on to your wealth you're becoming obsolete because you really don't want to interact with other humans from other races does this sound weird it sounds weird coming out of my mouth to me like and so basically there are a lot of people who are extremely wealthy but they're not really having a lot of children they um they're because they want to hold on to their resources so they're becoming obsolete or they're committing suicide so when you come into the world and everything is kind of like laid out for you um or you know you you want that promotion they're just like bam it happens for you you get everything you want and your focus becomes on the things you know that you are acquiring and how easy it is to accomplish those goals but it's because you have the perfect you know earth suit for that particular race it's going to you know, like the, it's like a key that goes into a lock. You you wanted everything to work out for you, but your thinking is going to cause you to become obsolete because you have a tendency to not understand the connection between how things have been easy for you and maybe not so easy for other people. Like you don't make you don't seem to make that connection. And then it says here. For your other card is that compassion and forgiveness are your cornerstones to true love. So basically, you are a person who is going to have to, I don't know, like either be forgiven or forgive other people or be able to see that other people, other people did not have the earth suit that you have that opened the door and created the opportunities that came easy for you. Now, I know this may sound a little weird. I'm so sorry. But I just wanted to do something really fun with my tarot cards. I mean, what's the point in making them, right? If you don't, if these, if this reading did not um, resonate with you, make you feel some kind of way, or give you goosebumps, or give you something different to think about, then maybe this reading was not for you. However, you may know someone who would benefit from this. So please do not forget to like and share this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you selected the yellow butterfly, then this reading is for you.
Hello darling, if you selected the yellow butterfly, then this reading is for you. First, I'm going to go over each card and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about this particular spread. So first we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib and she says no. Knowing it's like this ancient wisdom, like something that we know that is beyond our awareness of where we are right now. It's something we came to this planet with. You have an amoeba again in this particular hand. And she says, if it is not going to matter in a million years, it doesn't matter today. Next, we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara says, let's get focus here. If the answer is yes or no, you have not asked the right question. And then lastly, for this particular spread, we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Chaubi. And she says, protect yourself. Now, I'm just going to be super honest. When I say that, when I say I'm going to be super honest, that means that I really don't want to be, <laughs> that I really don't want to be super honest because I really want to say something else, but I'm going to just speak the truth that is intuitively coming to me from this particular ham. Now, in this particular spread, we have two Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib, and Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib represents our crown chakra, which is the part of us that's connected to our higher self and then we also have jungle beauty goddess um sahara who represents our throat chakra and the throat chakra has to do with our ability to speak the truth hear the truth know the truth people who um have problems with their throat chakra are sometimes people who lie a lot people who don't accept the truth people who um may brag a lot you know like they're just yeah, you know what I'm saying. Sometimes they're either they're shy or they or they talk too much. So it's like bragging or they're just they don't talk at all. A balanced chakra is a person who has a even exchange of information with people. And um, but anyway, and then we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby who has to do with our third chakra, and you know just I'm gonna come right back. I, I have a, a candle burning and it's going insane and I may need to, I think I'm going to turn this candle off and I'll be right Okay, back. I'm back. So the thing that I would say about the collective information from this read is that you do not, you, you hate race um, in general. You you feel a need to protect yourself from other from other races of people like you know you don't really you don't really you're not having a great experience in your body let me just you really not you just you're not loving this whole thing and you're asking a lot of why questions why is the world like this why are people like this and you have the jungle beauty goddess card um so i'm sorry jungle beauty goddess sahara card and she says if the answer is yes or no. You have not asked the right ask the right questions. So basically, if you're asking questions like why does race exist? Why do I have to be here? Why are people like this? Why are those people like this? Why why are those people like that? Like you're one of those people who who is constantly asking the questions about pretty much why the world is the way that it is and you feel disconnected from your body and so you have the jungle beauty goddess chalvi card that says protect yourself you feel a need to protect yourself from everybody i don't know like you're just what's coming to me what's coming in through my spirit is that you're just not really enjoying this whole earth human thing you really don't understand this whole concept and you're having a hard time adjusting adjusting to your body adjusting to um 
society adjusting to other people because you don't really vibe with the whole race the whole you know not liking other people but in this uh, hmm. the best way I can say this is that in your head you are very idealistic now when we're talking about jungle beauty goddess uh, Namib, who represents our crown chakra which this was a four card pull and you pulled two jungle beauty goddess Namib, which represents the part of us that is connected to our higher self now i'm gonna tell you what's interesting about this if it's not going to matter in a million years it doesn't matter today and you also have no what's interesting about this hand to me is that you are a person who because you are disconnected from your experience in this particular body you're really not happy with the um, the way humans are the way the world is the way people look at race you have a very idealistic view about human experience that is preventing you from enjoying your human experience in your particular race that you're in now like do you know how sometimes when you talk to a person please don't be offended oh my god i can see i can just see the thumbs down i can i can feel the thumbs down i can i, I feel it coming but i'm, I'm gonna speak the truth there's no point in me doing this you know how sometimes you talk to people and they have a very idealistic view about life about people and it's not realistic like sometimes you talk to a, a you know a younger person and they just feel like this is how the world should be like you know how could somebody hurt somebody or how could somebody do this or how could somebody do that and they they have these high ideas and these very warm and fuzzy ideas about how the world should be but they have a hard time living in the world because they are not accepting the world for what it is because they're very I don't want to use the word naive or idealistic and so when you have the card that says no so what this means oh my god this reading is so interesting no it just this means that you know that this whole experience is just one of many lifetimes you understand that race doesn't matter you you're one of those people who said look it has to do with the melanin and the way the sun kisses your skin depending on the geographical location of where you're located on this planet you understand all of these things and you have come to this planet with all of this knowledge but when you while you're here it's like other people aren't like you and you don't understand and this is another thing goes back to the question oh my god this hand is so crystal clear to me when you <coughs> excuse me you have jungle beauty goddess sahara and it says if the if the answer is yes or no you have not asked the right questions you keep asking like why are people like this why are people so mean-spirited or why does race matter in the first place aren't we all the same like why is this such a big you you keep asking these yes or no questions because you're connected to your ancient knowledge you're connected to infinite knowledge you're connected to the akashic records you come here with this remembrance of how we're all one and how we're all connected to all that is and how we're all a part of this you know central sun and that we're all a part of infinite love you know what i'm saying and you know this you know this and because you know this you can't accept the fact that other people don't know it you can't get down with this whole i'm better than you you're better than me or um why do people still use terms like race why why you know you yeah you're living in your head and you're very idealistic and you're but you're very unrealistic because you don't under you you're having a hard time accepting the fact that other people aren't as as evolved as you are so you have a tendency to protect yourself because you can't relate 
you, you really can't relate to people who are still caught up in the whole this person is Asian, this person is Indian, this person is black, this person is, you're really not into it. And you feel very unsafe because you, like I said, you're very connected to your higher self. You're very connected to your spirit. And you have not been able to adjust to this whole earthly experience. So my suggestion to you would be, um, I really feel like you should do some work with your third chakra. We have Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby here, which has to do, but you know what? You don't have low self esteem. What you have is an awareness of where you have come from, awareness of your higher self to a level that is preventing you from kind of playing a game. You're like that person who watches the movie who's like, oh my God, this is all fake. Like, how could you even get into this? How could you even, because I know people like that. They're like, oh my God, are you really crying? Like, can't you, this is, the camera's everywhere. This is not even real. Like, that's how it is. You, you, you're having a hard time playing this whole race game because it is like so beneath you. So, yes, because you, you know, two jungle beauty goddess to me, which has to do with our higher self. Um, you already know, you know, um, when it says, um, let me get the other card here. I keep pulling the no. <laughs> if it's not going to matter in a million years, it doesn't matter. That You know none of this matters. And because you feel disconnected and you can't get into this whole race thing because you know it's not true and you know it's not real, you protect yourself. So I'm, I don't know what to say. I think that for you to enjoy your stay on the planet, you are going to have to accept the fact that race does matter on planet earth at this juncture and that um you know and the if you're asking questions like if the answer is yes or no you have not asked the right questions meaning that you have to stop asking why are humans so stupid or why are people why are humans can't understand that we're you know what i mean yeah you need to like start thinking in terms of i have selected this body this family this earth suit and this time period and this geographical location um, what are some of the experiences that i can um you know take advantage of learn from like just i think you need to embrace your body embrace your race whatever it is and i um i know you're looking I don't know I don't know but I feel like you're looking at humans almost like oh my God, I can't believe people are like this like is this real but <laughs> but I feel like you need to I, I always hate to tell somebody come down from your higher self like, who wants to come down from your higher self the whole purpose is to be our higher selves but I do feel like for you to have an enjoyable earthly experience you're going to have to create some type of connection to your body and I would start with my root chakra like maybe going outside walking around with your bare feet um doing things in the sand walking like in the park and grass areas like you need to do things that your body really enjoy and um and maybe you are enjoying your body and but the thing is i feel like you need to somehow even if you personally don't believe in race you got to, you have to understand that on this planet and this year in this time period that the earth suit that a person is wearing can block and create opportunities for them without giving them a chance to show who they really are so i hope this reading help someone if this reading did not resonate with you make you feel some kind of way and give you goosebumps then that means that this particular reading was not for you however you may know someone who will benefit from this information so please like and share this video thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video if you selected the red butterfly this reading is for you.
Hello darling. If you selected the red butterfly, then this reading is for you. First I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about this particular hand. So we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Samid and she says, let it go, some things are not meant to be known. We also have Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. Let me get it in focus here. Maybe I need to use. Okay, here we go. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar says, be creative. And you also have one of my favorite cards is Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And her message to you is money will rush towards you when you find your true self. And then lastly, you have another card. It's Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara and Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And it says, plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul. Wow, this is a really good card. Now, my collective intuition about this hand is that the reason you selected your earth suit, your particular, this particular race, is because you want to prove to people that race does not matter. I, does that sound weird? Like sometimes when things like pop in my head, I don't want to say it because I'm like, this doesn't make sense. But the truth is, until you embrace your race, you are not going to be financially successful. That That is what popped into my head when I looked at these cards immediately. So basically, you are a person who feels that you are very talented, you have a lot of gifts, that you are your soul. So for example, it says, plant seeds to bear the fruit of your soul. Money will rush towards you, will rush towards you when you find your true self. What this means to me, I mean, have you ever seen a person before who is so out of touch with who they are? like? Maybe, I, I mean, I hate to say this, you know, like, because I'm a person, I believe you should do what you want to do. But sometimes, the our earth suit, how it's designed, um, the size, the color, the hue, that can decide which parts you may get in a particular movie. But you know what? Life is just like a movie. There are certain parts, there are certain opportunities, there are certain... Um, aspects journeys that are close to you because of your earth suit and if you wear the right earth suit then there are doors that just fly open to you do you know what i'm saying and i i i really hate this and i think that you are a person who want the world to see your soul you want the world to see your spirit you want the world to see who you really are without your earth suit but you're wearing this earth suit that is throwing people off. People are like, dude, um, yes, I don't think that, you know, what a person look like should matter. But when you're on this planet, you know, it really does matter. And people judge us by our appearance. But you're here. You want to prove to people that the color of their skin, that their earth suit is not important. But... I feel like the message that the cards are giving you is that until you accept the, I, I even hate the word limitations of your earth suit because every earth suit has assets and assets as well as liabilities. It has limitations as well as, um, what's, the, uh, what's the opposite limitation? It has um, um, opportunities that will be available to you that won't be available to other people because other people do not have the look that society is looking for for that particular role so it says money will rush towards you when you find your true self when you yes so your true self is a person inside of you but the question that i asked the cards is why did you partic why did you select this particular earth suit so you selected this particular earth suit it says plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul so listen this is the trick here yes you have some wonderful ideas some wonderful gifts and talents to share with this world but you i feel that um 
in order for you to have the level of prosperity, wealth, and abundance that I think you're, that we're all seeking, then I think it's going to be difficult for you to make your dreams come true. You also have the card from Jungle Beauty Goddess to Me, which says, let it go. Some things are not meant to be known. I feel that you are a person who feels like, why did I come into this body? Why does race matter? Why does race even matter in the first place? Because I have all of these gifts and talents inside of me. I, you know, I could do this better than most people. Like you, I think the people who come here and know that race really isn't that important are the people who struggle the most. Because you probably, you know, whatever race you are now, you could have been a different race in the last, you know, 10 lifetimes, period. Like, so, I mean, I bet you probably, you probably could have been on a planet where you were probably purple with green polka dots. You know what I'm saying? You know that this existence, this incarnation, this lifetime is just one of many. But when you come here with all of these gifts and talents and all of these ideas and you feel I don't want to, I hate to use the word, um, when you keep questioning, let it go, some things are not meant to be known, when you keep seeing, asking, like, why are people this way, why can't I get ahead, why do people, why can't people see what's inside of me, because, let me tell you something, the reason that you came to planet Earth is so that people could not see what was inside of you, and the only way people are going to be able to see what's inside of you it's when you plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul. Does that make sense what I'm saying? You know, that's the thing about planet Earth is that people come here with all of these high ideas and they're very idealistic about life and how it should be and how and how we're infinite beings and how we love each other. And that's all nice. But when you step into the Earth school and you put on an Earth suit, that Earth suit had a lot of it, it comes with a lot of rules. It comes with um, expectations, right? It, it has, that earth suit prepares you for the geographical location where you're living, the people that you are dealing with, the opportunities that will be available to you. Some of the opportunities that will not be available to you because of your earth suit. So I feel that what these cards are saying is that, yes, you came, you selected this race because you want to show, I mean, you, you want to show people that race doesn't matter, but I feel like the cards are telling you that if you want to succeed in this incarnation on planet Earth, that you need to understand that your Earth suit does matter. And that when you, ex it says, plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul, yes, people can't see inside of you. People can't people can only see your earth suit and you're going to have to find a way to help them see what's inside of you by being creative you know when you write songs when you paint when you draw when you cook when you dance when you sing that's when you show people who you are do you know what i'm saying you sh you have to use the the energy the spirit inside of you to manipulate your earth suit so that people can see what's inside of you and people can only see what's inside of you by the actions that you carry out with your body and the body that you have you have to accept the fact that it is in a particular race in a particular time that is viewed in a particular way by different people and once you accept that I just want to say this to you money will rush towards you when you find your true self that is the message for you. Yes, you already know that race doesn't matter. But in order for you to show your spirit in your suit, you need to be creative, do your thing thing, and show the world who you are. And then they will love you for who you are. But you first have to plant those seeds into the planet and let them evolve and grow. I really hope this reading helps someone. If this reading did not resonate with you, make you feel some kind of way, or give you goosebumps, then that means that this reading was not for you. However, you may know someone who will benefit from this reading. So please do not forget to like and share this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.